guys, what's up? Today we're going to talk about some glasses from a company that I can't pronounce. It's um, X-A-E-G-I-S-T-A-C. Suggest tack something. I don't know. I'll throw it up there, but we're going to talk about these glasses real quick. Okay, so first off, yes, these glasses were sent to me, right? These are some like Amazon glasses things, whatever, and this company reached out to me and wanted me to look at a couple things, and this is one of the things, and they sent it to me, and now we're going to make a video about it. So, if you got to hear what I say with a grain of salt and listen to all that with a grain of salt, you do that, you go for it, you do you, that's fine with me. I'm always going to give you guys my honest opinion, and we're going to just jump into this because it's just glasses. What all can you talk about glasses? It's pretty cool though, all right? It's pretty simple. It's relatively simple, but I think that they'll work. I think they'll be fine. Um, generally, if I'm actually going to use something, that is kind of a write-off as far as, like, I'm going to use it. So if you want to use it too, you go ahead. If it's something that I'm not going to use, yeah, I'm probably going to say that I'm not going to use it. These, honestly, these are going into my uh, into my range bag, and it's something that I'm going to use. And not just my range bag. It's good to wear eye pro and just any kind of power tool work you might do, whether that be mowing the yard, weed eating, stuff like that, working in the shop, dremels and grinders and all other kind of stuff, it's good idea to wear iPro, all right? Ask me why, because growing up you do lawn mowing, weed eating businesses and things like that, and you have scratched up eyeballs now? Well, if I had worn proper iPro back then, I could see a lot better now. So wear your iPro, children, right? Especially if you have those little side businesses and things like that. Anyway, jumping into things, that was kind of a rabbit trail, but I think it's very important. Jumping into this, what do you get? What is this exactly? I told you the brand name of this thing, which I don't really, can't really pronounce it, I'm sorry. Um, but basically, this is a frame, right, that comes with three lenses in a hard case. That was a little stand. Doesn't come with that. That's mine. Um, it comes in a hard case, right? A relatively hard case. Obviously, you could crush this if you really wanted to. But it's nice that they provide a case that is going to relatively protect your lenses and things and your glasses while it's in your bag. Because if you throw these things in a the bag, they're just going to bounce around. If you throw them just like this in a the bag, they're going to get all scratched up. They're going to last you about two weeks and then be done for, right? If they're in a case, they're going to last you a lot longer, right? Um, I think the cost of these things, according to on Amazon... They're right around like the $20 mark. That is not bad. For a case, for three lenses, um, get your little microfiber towel and everything like that. But three lens, you basically get three glasses in, in one, kind of. I mean, as long as you don't break the frames, you got some versatility there. And talking about the lenses, you do have clear lenses, right? Which for me, work very well inside the shop kind of thing, you know, because I'm not outside sun beaming down. I don't need sunglasses inside. But having eye pro when you're working on things, that makes a big difference. If you're shooting or working outside during dusk, right, dusk in the evening or dawn in the morning, right, um, it really is nice because you can actually see better, right, and you're still protecting your eyeballs. Makes sense. Um, they also have these amber or yellow tinted lenses. <gasps> Whoa, that's what they look like. Um, and these, I've used them before. They can kind of shed light on things. Not really, they don't really shed light. They amplify different kinds of light. They help you see certain kind of things a little bit better. I think some... Hunters use these for specific things. I've used them for different things, and they've been fine. I haven't noticed that they, like, completely change your world, but they're kind of like sunglasses, but they let more light in. Basically, that's how I've used them. I'm sure there's a better reason and example to talk about those, but I don't know them. I don't know. And you also get your regular, like, shades, right? Your darker, um, regular sunglasses lens, right? And if you, as you notice, all these lenses, they're big, right? They go all the way across. So when you have these things on your face right, and they're covering everything up, you do get pretty good protection, right, you get, or pretty good coverage, right, as far as up above your eyebrow line, if you're wearing a hat, nothing should be getting down in here anyway, um, you'd have to be coming in back from the side to really get anything in the side into your eyeball, and really, if something's coming directly at you, it's going to be really high, hard to get that, those particulates and things in your eye sockets, so if you are doing work with power tools and whatnot, Look straight at what you're doing. Don't try to look at it from the side or whatever because then you're just opening yourself up to getting stuff in those little crevices. Look directly at it and it everything should be hitting the glasses, not your face. Hope that makes sense. But it does have pretty good coverage. It does seem to have pretty good coverage. Um, to change the lenses, this seemed to be something that I was seeing on the Amazon reviews. Some people are breaking their frames, breaking their lenses and things. It's really not that hard if you take a minute to actually look at the lenses and see how you're supposed to change them. Some glasses, right? Some glasses that have, I'm just throw them on the ground. Some glasses that have a, a um, replaceable lenses, you just kind of pop them out. 
These frames have built-in eyebrows. That's what they kind of look like. They kind of look like eyebrows. They're not really. But right over here, right, where these little cutouts are, you can see these little cutouts on the, on the lenses. Right over here, you have these little hoochie puckers, right? They look like eyebrows that basically pop up, right? And those are what lock in your lenses, right? So it looks like some angry eyebrows, right, if you have them popped up. But basically, you just pop them up and then your glasses, your frames, or your frames, your frames and your lenses will pop right out. And then your little nose piece, don't lose this. They didn't, they did not send a second one. It would have been kind of cool if they did, but they did not send a second one. Don't lose this, or else it's gonna be really uncomfortable to wear these things. Um, so let's say I wanted to change out to my regular darker lenses. You just put your nose piece back on your darker lenses. Make sure your little eyebrows are up. And then there's kind of a groove where the lenses fit into pop your eyebrows back down and there you go he's in there make sure you clean it off it's nice that they provide the little lens cleaner thing because you got to be grabbing your your lenses to change them out and stuff but there you go that's your that's your lenses um speaking about the frames a little bit more um these don't have as far as i can tell these pieces back here they are rubberized right but they're not easily replaceable right i have had some even some nicer glasses that these are replaceable and when your head gets all sweaty and nasty and oily and gross and grimy and stuff that junk can get down in there in between the rubbery part and the plastic part of the frame and then that rubbery part would just slip right off and that's a pain in the butt all right that can be really annoying these do not seem like they're easily interchange or replaceable right so the pro of that is that they should not be coming off very easily right they're not going to accidentally fall off um, and they're gonna grab your head nice and nice and firm, firmly, I think is the word I'm looking for. The con of that is if somehow down the road you wore this thing out, I'm not sure that you're gonna easily replace it, right? But for 20 bucks, basically, of getting this whole thing, if you actually wore these things out over, let's say, a year or two, okay, I think you got your money's worth out of it, you can go get another pair. Basically, that's how I see it. Um, and that is nice, the way that these do wrap around your head, you do get a nice, firm grip on the sides of your head and you're not going to be shaking these things loose. I have some glasses, I do, um, some nicer sunglasses that have no texture on the side and you have to pretty much wear it with a hat and tuck those arms un in underneath the hat because if you don't and you move your head around, those glasses will fall right off. I'll wear them when I'm out fishing or doing stuff outside and as my head heats up and everything gets all sweaty and gross, those glasses will start to walk their way off and then Especially if you're looking down much at all, the glasses will just fall off. And it's a pain in the butt. They're nice glasses, but it's a pain in the butt. They don't they don't stay on. These, these are not going to be falling off your head very time soon at all. These are nice and grippy. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so that's it pretty much right there. Um, that's the company name. Uh, hopefully, it'll actually zoom in on that thing. I have something in my throat. I'm going to cough. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, but that's the company name right there. Hopefully, you can see that. I can't really pronounce it very well. Uh, but this is just Amazon stuff for like 20 bucks For the price you pay and for what you actually get, I think it's a pretty good deal. I'm gonna use these things, I'm actually gonna use them. Sometimes I do get things from companies that I'm just not gonna use. I'll just throw it out there. And so you'll hear me say like, it's okay for like airsoft or BB guns maybe, or toys. That's kind of the key word for, I'm not gonna use this. This stuff's for real as far as I can tell. I'm gonna use this. This is going in my bag um, and the clear lenses ones, I'm probably gonna use those around the shopper if I'm doing power tool stuff outside, chopping wood, weed eating, yard work in general. I'm gonna use these things, right? So I hope that makes sense. Hopefully you can read between the lines if you need to, but yeah, I'm actually gonna use this stuff. So if you got questions about it, let me know. Thank you, this uh, company, whoever, I can't pronounce your name, sorry. Thank you for sending these things out. And I think, I think I have a link below. It is not an affiliate link. I don't get kickbacks from it. I do not believe I have a discount code or anything for you guys. But if you're interested in getting some inexpensive eye pro because you need to protect your eyeballs you only get one set of eyeballs and there's only so much work you can do on them don't be scratching them up put some eye pro in front of them and protect those little things all right that's it i'm done you guys be good to be safe appreciate you watching subscribing and everything and hopefully we'll catch you in the next video see you